Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Songan. I <coughs> uh, appreciate you for presenting to us. Project Administrator, members of your PEC and your Tutumang. Uh, money plan of 680,765,400 Sina. 680,765,400 kinas. Of that, 70% is from national government grant and 30% is from provincial government internal revenue. I want to also indicate inside lies the distribution of the uh, infrastructure development grant that we've uh, envisaged for uh, Wafi Golpu uh, later uh, this month, if not early next month. The mining department will visit Morobe again for us to uh, tick off what needs to be ticked off in respect to the Wafi Golpu mine project. But it is my distinct pleasure now to uh, pass this budget that I've received uh, to <coughs> our uh, Treasury Department. Uh, Secretary Ware, if you can. Uh, Governor, why don't we formally stand up and uh, yeah. dispense this? We pass it on to uh, Secretary Ware. Uh, Minister of Finance, you can pass it on to him, please. Um, so I'm now a money plan blow people from Morobe come. Um, thank you. Uh, we appreciate the uh, formality. Governor, I give you a commitment. We release it at the very earliest. We get it approved at the very earliest. Well, not the budget. It's approved within the same speech or so. Within uh, three, four days, same approved. Thank you. Sir. So uh, that's why like, I'll take it. I'll team lead or provincial finance, the uh, IPLAC and stuff, and make them make clear how this will work. Uh, go inside and uh, walk if input on the treasury officials and we get it out of the way quicker than later. Thank you. All right, thank you to my Songan. Thank you. Thank you, uh, The most important province that anchors 70% of the economy of our country. From Lay, it is where Mama says fed, Highlands is fed, and New Guinea Highlands is impacted and fed in terms of the economic spin. So. Your province is an important province. Let me welcome you to the national parliament once again in this, in, for this uh, budget uh, submissions. Uh, using this moment to appreciate continued support of Morobe to Papua New Guinea in as far as the construct of Papua New Guinea economy and where we are today. I look forward to hearing you as you present your budget. And then uh, and I reserve my response to you. If DPM or others want to say something later, you can, but Governor, we welcome you into this uh, uh, state function room for your presentation of your province's budget. Uh, thank you, Mr. Prime Minister of this country, Deputy Prime Minister, and Member for Finchalfen and the Minister for Finance. You are here. Uh, and some other members of Parliament who are at our forefront as we speak here. Prime Minister, with me is the, uh, uh, the, the administrator of the uh, Morabi province, uh, Mr. Maxton Blanton, uh, Burton, and then all the other members of the Provincial Executive Council. I have invited them to come with me to make a presentation on our past budget. Uh, they're here. And then, of, of course, the offices of the Finance Department uh, of the Morbi Provincial Government. They are here with me. Prime Minister, as you know, in accordance with the organic law, uh, provincial government budget being passed is subject to the approval of the uh, Treasury Minister. Uh, so we, in accordance with the organic law, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, we have passed the budget on Monday, on Monday the 12th of uh, February 2024, and as I said, in accordance with the organic law, we have to make presentation to you for your perusal and for your decision in accordance with the organic law. And as you know, Prime Minister, Morobi is a big province. We got uh, 10, 10, 11 electorates, including my own electorate of regional seat. Uh, population is in excess of 1 million. Uh, in excess of one million. So it is, uh, without being boastful, it's a big province. And then, Prime Minister, Morobe, as you know, uh, you have traveled to Morobe many times. You know the topography of Morobe, very difficult province uh, in terms of rough seas, in terms of big rivers to cross, in terms of big mountain to uh, climb, uh, and 
for some other places, the wet weather is always there and making it difficult for communication or making it difficult for uh, transport like plane to land where there is no road. And uh, Mr. Prime Minister, people love to live in the places where their forefathers have lived. And they're not like New Guinea table beds that we're going to get them to lay, uh, lay <coughs> city and feed them there. Uh, they will continue to live in their own localities. So, uh, Prime Minister, a very difficult province, very difficult province. And Prime Minister, the resources that we've got in terms of internal uh, revenue, and then of course uh, GST that comes from the um, international government by virtue of the GST law, uh, uh, that is mostly the <coughs> revenues that we have. Uh, as you know, and thank, uh, thankfully for the uh, Deputy Prime Minister, uh, we have concurred to have the 25% uh, Sabaton give it to them, which yeah, we did yeah, yeah. Uh, well, by, agreement, by agreement and then by law, uh, passage yes, of the law. And uh, there is a mark improvement, Prime Minister, Correct. Uh, when they when this law was passed. There's a mark improvement. Uh, the 25% the, the has been uh, straight away sent to the uh, lay uh, development authority. So it's being used, and if you come to Lay, uh, you're going to see it's a marked difference in the sense that city is clean. City is clean uh, by the utility of this money. Enable the cities to be clean, the flowers are there. So big development is taking place, the police in order, all of those things. So um, um, so that 25% is doing that job, and then 75% is left to us uh, to use. So, Mr. Prime Minister, we have uh, <coughs> considered that as a revenue, uh, those as a revenue uh, in our budget. And as you will see, as you perish through, you will see the expenditure. Prime Minister, I want to tell you that uh, we have structured the budget taking into account our five year development plan. <coughs> and, Prime Minister, our five year development plan has taken into account the national government's medium term development. Uh, development. So we want to demonstrate to you, Prime Minister, that we are not alone. Our budgets should not be made in isolation. Our considerations should not be in isolation. Our considerations should be <coughs> taking into account the, the, the whatever that needs to be done in this country. Uh, Prime Minister, the documents are self-explanatory. Uh, what we, uh, what we um, uh, drafted and taking into account uh, the, ex the revenue and the expenditure are, are clear in the books that I'm going to present up to you.